Because your phone is just you. Like, you feel me? In the comfort of your house. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. Yeah. So when I'm acting a fool on Instagram with a little 60 second video, that was me bugging a wallet in the comfort of my house. Right. You know, so when I go places, I'm very, I observe the room first. And if it's too many people in that room, yeah, you're going to get a different side of me. And yeah. it's going to be me being quiet. Mm -hmm. Like, so. Hey y'all, welcome to That's So Bold. I'm your host, Milan Garcon, and I am here with New York's own Malibu Mitch. What's good? Hi, hi. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm excited to be here. I'm so happy that you're here. I know it was a lot getting here, girl. You know, yes. New York traffic heavy. Yes, something's wrong with us. I don't think we, it's like we know how to drive, but we don't. Yeah, it's like everybody is, is, is in so much of a rush that it's yes. like, I'll hit you, but let's just all keep going. No, it's crazy. It's crazy. Let me see your nails, because your nails are turning it. Yes, girl. Your yes, girl. Turning. Your nails are fire, I love, too. Thank uh -huh. you. I got so a little pride edition. Yes, I love it. But that's giving. Yes, you know me, always 90s mommy, I have always. to do it. <laughs> I'm here for it, okay, so are you ready? Yes, I'm Let's ready. get bold. I'm scared, I'm so scared. <laughs> All right, well we're gonna, we're gonna start off cute. So first I wanna know, your name Malibu Mitch is actually two names put together because yes. they represent two personas, so can you tell exactly. me more about that? So Malibu is the more, so the bubbly side of me, okay. like, um, yeah, the bubbly side. I'm a, I be a goofball most majority of the time. And then Mitch is more like the South Bronx, the gritty side, mm -hmm. my attitude problem here and there. Yeah. When I gotta smack a, that's Mitch. Well, you know, sometimes, you know, you gotta do what needs to be done. Yes, <laughs> but exactly. that's so dope. So would you say, like in that, do you ever lean more to Malibu on some songs or Mitch on some songs? Well, mm, what I'm getting into, I've been trying to um, balance with both voices as well, too. My natural speaking voice is more so a Malibu, mm -hmm. and then Mitch is the deeper tone. Yeah. So I've been given a lot of the deeper tones, so on this project, I'm going to do both. Okay. And then one day I'm going to battle myself and do Malibu <sighs> versus Mitch. Yeah, we're going to do it. I'm going to have to do it. Come you do a versus uh, yeah, only with like, yourself? Yeah, like Mariah Carey, when she fought herself in that bathroom that one time, yeah, yeah I'm doing that. I'm going to beat my ass in the bathroom. <laughs> who, who will win, Malibu or Mitch? I don't know. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know who's going to be able to take those L's. I don't know. I don't know. Because I can't do Mitch like that because she got to go back to the Bronx. It's no shade. Yeah. And Mitch got to get in the studio. Yeah, right? Mitch might have to get But Malibu, I don't know. I don't know. But Malibu not soft, though. Don't play with Yeah, her. like, like don't, don't get it twisted. Right? <laughs> All right, so you've been in this rap game, you're not new to this, you are true to this, okay? You've been in the game for 10 years. Do you remember the year that you were like, I'm gonna take rap serious and I'm really gonna do this? I'm gonna let the girls know. Uh, it was like a few different times. So when the first time I started rapping, I was mad young. I was like 18, 19, I'm 31 now, 31. So I was taking it low key serious just to like, I was doing little freestyles around the hood and stuff. And then okay. Rough Riders, they found me. And when I was with them, I was just doing it because it was keeping me out of trouble. So, cause I was, when I was younger, I was in and out of gangs. I was in and out of jail, shit. Like jail was like my home, my actual home. So, <laughs> so it was like, just trying to figure that out is what made me take it a little bit serious. Mm -hmm. But no, I was still young, bugging, wilding. So it, I didn't start getting serious probably until I was like, I want to say really like 25. Even though I had other deals and stuff, I went to Island Dev Jam, was with them mm -hmm. for like a year and something. Yeah, I was signed with Rough Riders when I was like 19 and 20, and they were like keeping me out of trouble. I wasn't taking rap serious around that time. It was just literally something to just pass time to keep me out of trouble, you know? So then from there, I was signed to Island Dev Jam. I didn't take it too serious either, but they offered, um, it was like a little girl group, some mm -hmm. weird ass shit, but I did it because to make money, you know? Yeah, it's like, no, you gotta they, pay the bills out here in New York. Girl, they offered me 10 bands. I ain't never seen 10 bands a day in my life. When mm -hmm. I, That was when I was like 21 or something, 22. Offered me 10 bands, said they were gonna give me an apartment, give me a car. I was like, yeah, where do I sign? So um, did that with them. I still wasn't taking it serious, and then, I want to say when I got with Atlantic, it's probably when I was like, you know what, like, let me actually keep doing it. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, because I started to realize it was like, I would do other things and the karma behind it was real bad for me. Mm -hmm. And then I would be like, you know what, let me get my, let me focus on rap. Because I feel like once you find like your calling, yeah. when God sends you your calling and you finally find it and you don't do things along those lines, God will Fuck your whole life up. He be trying to derail you to get no, you back no, on track no. and you be fighting and like, what's going on? Yeah, so he was doing a lot, like mm -hmm. a lot of stuff to me. Well, I was doing it to myself, let me say that. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah, and then I wasn't with Atlantic no more. And then, you know, that kind of blew minds a little bit because that was the first time I felt like somebody was like very supportive of me. Atlantic mm -hmm. was very supportive. But um, I had signed a bad contract with a production company. So it wasn't even a bad contract. It was, I should have been more aware of what was in the contract. Mm -hmm. And me being older, I'm, I know that now, you know? So when you were with Rough Riders on Island Def Jam, you know, you were saying that you weren't really taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, you got into a bad contract yeah. somewhere along the lines. Did you have anybody like close to you or on your team that was kind of looking over the business side of Malibu Mitch? No, not ever. I was coming from the Bronx. So mm -hmm. I'm literally coming from the hood. They find me on YouTube and all other apps and stuff. So that's where it started and stopped. I had nobody no manager, no nothing like that. Mm. And then when I did, it was like, it was always some something weird going on with managers, like, mm. you know? So for a very long time, it was like, I would have people that was my manager, but it wasn't like, I was very trusting of them right. or I would hold my whole life into their hands. And so um, I wanna say these past four years. So my, my manager now, his name is Josh. He, okay. um, I actually met him at Island Def Jam. He used to be my product manager. Mm -hmm. Was always looking out for me, always. If I wasn't with doing something, he was always like, no, she knows what she's doing. Yeah, like, do even to this day, like, he's like that. Like, he doesn't want nobody to force me to do anything. I don't let nobody force me into doing anything. And every time I say no, he's just, he has my back on it. That's know? what's up. You need somebody that has, like, that can be that backbone for the talent. Cause you know, you want to come in and you, you want to be Malibu. No, exactly. I don't want to be Mitch on y'all. No, exactly. That too. And I feel like a lot of the times with women in this industry, they like, it's, it's easier to get on if we, if we date a guy mm -hmm. or if we deal with multiple rappers and multiple people in the industry and if we do some crazy nut shit online to do, you know, clout and stuff like that. I don't mm -hmm. do none of that. Yeah. Like I do not get on Instagram acting a fool. I don't I never dealt with an industry, a guy in the industry before. I like to stay away from stuff like that. Um but I got a little boo now. Oh I'm excited about it. I'm excited. Hey, so you're not gonna have a city girl summer, you're not gonna have a hot girl summer? You wanna be cuffed mommy? What's going on? I'm scared. Oh, no. <laughs> what you scared of? I'm scared to tell you my business. Ah. But um, I don't know. Yeah, you gonna see where it goes. I'm a relationship girl, I'm not gonna even lie. Yeah. Like, I don't like being out here. Like, outside be fun, yes. but it be like, but so much fun. Absolutely. Cause you know that guy's gonna have fun with another girl, another girl, no another shade. girl. No shade, and I, because you're a relationship girl, you are going to, it's not I giving like that. that. It's not I, giving I that. I not like that. You know, so. Yeah. I've always been like that. Well, when I was younger, I really wasn't like that. I was like, fuck nigga free. Hey. But uh -uh. <laughs> these days, no, I'm a lover girl. Oh my God, I'm a champagne that. mommy over here. <laughs> I love that though, no shit, I love it. I, I, I live for it, it gives me hope. Like, okay, yeah, you no, can still fall yeah. in love in 2022. What? Of course. Like, I do not believe, I don't play that. Like, I'll fall out of love, I'll fall in love a thousand mm -hmm. times. I don't, I'm a Pisces, first of all. Okay, That's that explains a, a lot. I'm That's a Virgo, a so I'm giving very much. My mom is a Virgo and my yeah. best friend. I'm giving no funny business. Yeah, you nothing You do it to me one time, it's over. it's over with. It's over for love. Yeah, 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 yeah. Y'all do petty stuff. To yes, that, so yes. Then be like, all right, it's done. Yep. I, I, got yep. my, I got my little thing out, now I'm done. Not you pulling my cards. No, my oh best my God. friend, she's a Virgo. That's what she does. She's crazy. <laughs> we are crazy. So I want to speak on, you know, your authenticity in the industry as yourself, doing what you do. I, back in the day, used to love watching you, like, be in the Bronx on YouTube, like, on vlogs. This is when I was vlogging heavy. So I was giving, like, oh, my God, like, Malibu showing, showing us the Bronx and what it really gave, like, what it gave. Like, how has that been remaining in your community, being the star that you are and having, you know, the, the people that know you around you versus... Just getting on a jet yeah. to LA and being like, I'm gonna make it big. Like, no, I'm gonna be where I'm at because I am the star. Exactly. I feel like I've been, I, I'm from New York. Mm -hmm. I've been here my whole life. I've been here my whole life broke as hell. So why would I not be here when I got money? Why would I not be here when I'm the man right now? So why would I not be in my city like that? So no, I tried to live in LA before I lived there for a whole year. Um, it just wasn't for me. Mm -hmm. I'm, you know, I, I feel like I'm more like, I'm too rough for LA. I'm trying to like. tell you, every time I go there, I'm like, 
I feel like I have to apologize just for saying yeah. the most normal stuff that yeah. up here in New York, you know, you say what you say, everybody keeps it pushing. Yeah. Everybody there is, you know, they're a little bit more sensitive yeah, to certain are. things. Um, but yeah, I don't um I don't apologize for things I say because I mean what I said, yeah. right? But I I get that a lot. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm just too intense over there. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, yeah, but I've learned that they I've, well, my manager's from LA. Okay. So he told me that I meet everybody that comes to LA trying to be a star. I meet them. I don't meet the LA natives. Yeah. I don't meet the actual people that's from California. Mm -hmm. So he said that if I actually meet, meet them, I, it will be a lot better. But yeah. I never do. I meet all these people coming from Ohio, Boston. I'm from Ohio, girl. I'm from, oh, you are? <laughs> yeah, I'm from so Cleveland, Ohio. Yes. Yes. That's so cute. Okay. Like, you know, all these other people, mm -hmm. like, you know, and I meet them. I don't actually meet the natives. So, yeah, but no, 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 no. I'm a New York girl. I'm yeah. going to stay here. I live for it, no shame. Yeah, so, it. do you remember, like, the first song you freestyled on? Like, the first freestyle yes. you made? Talk about it. Uh, it was to Gucci Man's Wasted. Ah, ah, yeah. I, I don't I don't feel what year that was, but my best friend at the time, my childhood best friend, she was the one that got me rapping. Mm -hmm. So she was, um, she rapped to it, and then she was like, um, she called me, it was fire. I was like, oh, I want to try it. And she mm -hmm. was like, all right, go ahead. Wrote to it, called the back. She was like, nah, that's fire. Ah. Yeah, so I just liked the attention that she gave me from it. And mm -hmm. then I just kept going, honestly. Like, it was little little freestyles, like on, this is when MySpace, you was able to upload MP3s, mm -hmm. like to MySpace. People yeah. do not- To your page, they yes. click on your page, and then yes. your song just start playing. Even on Twitter, what? My little yeah. MP3 was on my Twitter, like, the Those were the good old that. days. Those were the good old days. They don't remember that now. Yes. Now you gotta post it on TikTok like, no, come on my yes. page, see who my top five is, click my yeah. song, like all that. TikTok, I hate it over ah. there. Why don't you like TikTok? I would like to know because the-, the I feel like it's another app. Artists, it's just another app. Yeah, I feel I'm like people take it too serious. That. I feel like I'm too grown for all of that. It's just like another app. First, I barely keep up with Instagram, mm -hmm. right? They always telling me to post something on Instagram mm -hmm. and I be like, oh. I do be wanting more posts, it's no shade. Yeah. I, lo I love your personality so I much. I live in real time, that's how I feel. I feel in real, I live in real time. When you meet me, then it's like, hey girl, oh my God, yeah, kikis. But here. then, yeah, but then it's like Instagram, I just feel like sometimes it's like, like, people get can get the wrong perception of you. Mm -hmm. So it's like when I was making all those funny goofy ass videos, I felt like then I, when I meet people, they'll be like, oh wait, but you're not really like that. It's like maybe I'm not comfortable around you to be yeah. acting like that. Yeah. Cause your phone is just you. Like you feel me? In the comfort of your house. Mm -hmm. People don't understand that. Yeah. So when I'm acting a fool on Instagram with a little 60 second video, that was me bugging and wilding in the comfort of my house. Right. You know, so when I go places, I'm very, I observe the room first, and if it's too many people in that room, yeah, you're gonna get a different side of me, and yeah. it's gonna be me being quiet. Mm -hmm. Like, so I felt like a lot of people got the wrong perception, and they would be like, Oh, turn up, do a cartwheel. You're trying to treat you like, as like your social media persona. Yeah, and it's like, like that is you know, like, a persona. That's a part of me, not mm -hmm. every part of me. Because I'm very quiet. It's funny. I'm very quiet, very reserved. Like, But I am 730 and crazy at the same yeah. time. But, you know, if I feel comfortable, I'm like that, you know? And then I don't like to play when there's a lot of guys around. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. Like, I like to be like dead serious because these yeah. guys you make one joke to a guy and it's like oh she want to hit like yeah, and it's like what like the same way you making a bunch of jokes that's not going nowhere i don't expect this to go nowhere right it's, it's not my fault i'm funny and you yeah. laughing like ew like you know yeah. you hit a nigga with this and they like uh, oh she just gave me head uh, like what <laughs> i be scared so i be scared no this is why <laughs> this is why i stay home <laughs> No shame. <laughs> so how is Malibu Mitch as a friend? Like, how would your friends describe you? I'm like, I'm always like the big baby. That's what they call me. I'm like a big baby. Really? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm like a big baby. Um, I'm very clingy with my friends. Mm -hmm. I love my friends. Thanks. Like, I love, like, I, I'm clingy with anybody. If I love you, it's over. Like, mm -hmm. it's clipped for everything. Yeah. But um, I'm very supportive. I think they would say I'm very supportive. I'm funny. Yeah. And they could confide in me and tell me their little whole stories. And I won't tell nobody. <laughs> you gotta do like a uh, like a rap, like a female rap version of Jasmine Sullivan's hotels and yeah. get very much like, let me tell you what the fuck be going on in the rock. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah, and I'm very blunt. I love so, that. Yeah, so sometimes me and my friends we get into it, but as long as it don't end up on the internet, I'm fine with that. Period. <laughs> okay. Okay. Each other out. I love that though. Like yeah. I feel like with friends. 
if I can't just be my blunt, natural exactly. self with you, because it's always coming from a place of love. You know what I'm saying? No, so. literally. Because I'll tell my friend, bitch, why you doing that? Why don't you do this? And then they be like, why are you always all up in my business? Why am I not all up in your business? Okay. I did not care. Yeah. I did not care. Could you imagine me not caring? Like, what? Crazy. <laughs> that is crazy. So, yeah. I think that's how they would describe me. Oh, that's so cute. I love that. I'm the same way. Like... I can sit up under you all day long. What we about to eat, what we gonna watch, like where we about to go, all that. I love that. No, me too. <laughs> so right now, what are your biggest music influences? And it doesn't even have to be necessarily an artist. Like you can give me an artist, but just what is influencing your creative musical mind right now? I think, um, well, when I was doing my project, um, it was everything that I was going through. So um, I went through a breakup. Mm -hmm. I was six years with somebody mm -hmm. to not be with them no more. Six years. Oh, girl, it's prison. Okay, prison all right. Bag. So we don't gotta get deep in, but that was prison bag. But <laughs> it was a good relationship. Okay. Like, I don't ever regret any relationship that I am in. He was an amazing person. We grew together, but we just, I think, started to outgrow each other. Mm -hmm. So I was writing a lot about that. And well, for really like almost two years, a lot of my music was about that. And then um, the situations that I've been going through, I feel like um, with meeting people in the industry and having so many deals and going back and forth, um, mm -hmm. it does something to you sometimes, you know? Like I never give up. I, I believe in taking breaks for your mental, you know? Mm -hmm. But when people tell you no so many times and you know you got it, yeah. it still bothers you, you know? I'm very transparent with my feelings and I say how I feel, and especially through my music. So. Yeah, I was just basically talking about like my life and what's going on and that I always do that. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, but then I also want to start being playful, more playful yeah. with my music too. But not too playful though, but I wanna start getting into being a little playful too. So it's a little cute little bops on there that I've been um gathering together. Okay, so this this is a project that is coming to us yes. sometime. Finally, finally, finally. Can yes. you say like, can you just give me a season? Like, and I'm, gonna... I'm trying to get it out before the end of the summer, okay. but I'm dropping at least like, um, I dropped two videos already. I'm dropping yeah. at least like three more. Before period, the period. So we're going to be twerking yes. in the summer on rooftops, yes. giving play that Malibu Mitch yes. what's good. Because the next big video, so I have a song coming out where, um, Ah, oh, shit, I can't say that. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, so. Well, a K-pop artist is featured on Sly. I was about to tell oh, y'all my business. Multiple times, I was gonna Work. tell you guys my business, yes. Yeah, I gotta get that Asian bag. There's you no reason why I'm not that. Come get the on. money, friend. Mm -hmm. Get the money. Konnichiwa to all y'all motherfuckers, no all right? Shade. We it's out no here. Tea. No shade, no shade. Write the thing down, boom. Yes, so I'm trying to tap into my Asian side. So um, I have like, a, I, I call him one of the kings of K-pop. He's on my record. The fact Ooh. that I even got his ass on a record is like insane. I didn't even know that he knew who I was. Oh my gosh. Yes, I'm so, so excited. I'm excited about it too. Oh, I'm excited. So he's nah. on the remix to Slide. So, okay. and then we have an animated video dropping. July 8th. See, oh, there you go. Because I'm gonna make it like a TikTok viral challenge oh, to the song. Yeah, I'm gonna help you out, right. bro. I'm gonna help you. If I must. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you the password. Be like, do your thing. <laughs> so, what other artists do you feel like you would wanna collab with on upcoming projects? Like, is there anybody, you know, if you could just shoot for the stars or yes. girl, walk across the street I have a and give? List. Okay, well, give me like the top three. <laughs> Um, <laughs> definitely, I love Rihanna. Everybody knows that I love Rihanna. But how are you gonna get her into the studio? What you gonna do to get Re into the studio? Oh no! What she like to eat? Maybe if I fill up the studio with a bunch of food. I know she like white sheets hanging. From we gotta have a babysitter now too. We gotta have a nanny now too. I'm the babysitter. Oh. <laughs> I'm the babysitter. Rapid. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. But, she could probably have a, a glass of wine now. Yes, so definitely, yes. you know, she gotta have the yes. wine. Definitely Rihanna. I love her. I call myself the rap Rihanna. I love her. I love Rihanna. that. I, I love her. So um definitely Nikki. Everybody knows my body with Nikki. I don't play about her. Okay. <laughs> um, Jay-Z, Drake, Jada Kiss. Okay, yeah, there we go. I'm, yeah, I'm here with you now. The Jay-Z and Jada kids turned it on me. I feel like I need to, like, I would not be, like, a real artist if I don't go, well, a real rapper, if I don't go bar for bar with Jada kids. I've had this, like, I was signed to Rough Riders. You know, he was over there, like, that was the first um, rapper I ever met. 
And like, he does not remember this, but they had brought my little ass in the club to meet Jada. I lost my mind. I lost my mind. They're like, you can't act like that. You're an artist. I'm like, leave me alone. Ah! That's Jada Kiss. <laughs> so yeah, definitely, definitely. Those are the people that I would love to collab with. Do you sometimes still feel like that person, that young rapper that met Jada Kiss in the club, like does that fuel you to continue creating and keep pushing? Um, yeah, all, all the time, especially when somebody pisses me off. Like I write all my stuff, so if somebody pisses me off, you got a whole diss track about you and you're not gonna even know. Like, you know, so I'm very like, yes, girl. Like I, um, whatever I feel, like my emotions, I put it into my music, you know, so like, I feel like when you when you when you write your own music, it's always gonna be endless topics for mm -hmm. you, you know? Because you might, I don't know, be at the supermarket one day and I don't know, something might happen at the supermarket, you could rap about that. Like, no shade. You know, so it's like endless opportunities with it. I go somewhere I never been before, I'm rapping about it, yeah. you know? So it's kinda like a journal, like how somebody like how I vlog, like I be recording exactly. myself as I go exactly. everywhere. It's like, no, you are writing exactly. and you are literally like Telling your experience. Yeah. yeah, so, and I've always been like that. Like, I always gotta tell people how I feel. Like, if I'm in a relationship with you, friendship, I gotta tell you how I feel. Mm -hmm. Like, you're gonna take it. Like, I don't care. So that's how I am with my music. So I feel like it's always gonna be something that I could, you know, yeah. like, feel hungry about. You know? And that's the thing. Like, I feel like the best artists and just the, the people that I think in my head are successful yeah. that I wish I could be like, I'm like, you still hungry, and yeah. everybody in the world looks up to you, but you're still hungry, so that's really exactly. important to still have that. Exactly. No, that's that bad. Really is. Tell me the craziest rumor that you've heard about yourself. All right, so when I was locked in, well, I am still am in the contract, but they're like, they're, they're being a little nicer now. Okay. So, um, they were going around telling stories about me, crazy stories, yeah, saying that like I'm hard to work with, mm -hmm. Um, that I one day I cracked somebody over her head with a glass bottle or some weird. I feel like shit. that's the quickest thing for people to go to when yeah. dealing with a black woman mm -hmm. is that she's difficult to work with. Yeah, and I think that is so. Yeah, that's like, the furthest thing from and true. Then, you know, you, the messed up part about it is right. I could see the logic on it. I'm I'm very rational. I'm probably too rational sometimes. So when when I hear something, I'd be like. Oh, I hate it, but I'm like, oh, I see why they did it though. So I see why they they said a bunch of things about me. I see why a lot of people probably um, could have believed it because I went through so many deals. So it can look mm. like you're the problem, but it was never that. It was just, instead of people looking at it like my worth ethic is crazy and I never let nobody tell me no, I don't let nobody stop me. Like that was just like, you know, stepping stones I feel like. and. It makes for a better story. Like I, th I feel like it makes for a better story that I went through so much with those deals. Cause mm -hmm. like, you know, like people lose one deal and then they cry in three rivers. I mean, I cry out the Nile, girl. I cry. Woo. But you gotta but go through it to get through it. You do, but exactly. Like nothing should stop you to the point that you you stop doing something mm -hmm. that you're passionate about and love. You feel like when you don't accept the pickle juice because your work ethic makes you. I see the vision, I see the creative vision, and it needs to represent me authentically. Yeah. Like when you don't, like Nikki said, don't accept the pickle juice, exactly. you feel like that's an easy excuse for people to be like, no, oh, she's hard to work with. It's like, no, I just know what I want. I know it's, what it's given. I know what I'm worth at the end of the day. Like that be, I think that's what conflicts with everything. So like, I might be here, right? Right now, my body's here, but in spirit, I already see me way past mm -hmm. everything. Like I already see that for myself. So that's a big, conflict that I have with myself sometimes too. But yeah, like, you know, I on my feet, I got tired of, I walk at my own pace. I've always been I like that. that. Yeah, I, and I do, like, I don't let nobody rush me. Like, when everybody was like, when are you gonna drop music? When are you dropping music? They didn't know I was locked in a contract and they weren't letting me release music. Right. But at the end of the day, I'm not gonna get on Instagram, make myself a fool, give y'all a reason to be like, see, told you. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm not doing all of that. Like, yeah. you know, it bothered me not to talk about it because I know a lot of people's going through it. And one time, a couple of times I did slip up and I would delete it. And a lot of artists reached out to me like, oh, I'm going through the same thing. I'm so happy that you're saying something about mm -hmm. it. So it was a lot of times that I felt like, damn, I wish I would say something. But, but you got the message out though, to the people that yeah. needed to hear it. Exactly, you know, you know? so, but. Yeah, it's just messed up when these people play with your life because this is our life. Like, you know, like I didn't graduate school, so this is all that I have, mm -hmm. you know? So, yeah, it, this 
it'd be up and down with this. Yeah, but that's why you put so much of yourself into it and you yeah. invest the emotion and the yeah. energy. Like people don't realize like from a label standpoint, you know, you might be dealing it from a business mindset, but I'm going through an emotional, creative, like I'm throwing my entire being into this. So. Oh, literally. When people are like, oh, don't get too personal. How? I'm a person. Crazy. <laughs> like what? <laughs> so I feel like we go, I feel like you already answered this by answering so many other questions, but do so you feel like it's more loyalty within the industry or outside of the industry? I feel like there's no loyalty in this mm. industry. There's mm -hmm. not one yeah. one drop of it. Um, Cause I feel like at the end of the day, like um, it's always gonna come down to we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to get somewhere. So it's very cutthroat, like too cutthroat. So that's why uh, I just be over it. I never used to go places or nothing like that. I never used to be down to meet new people. Um, I've been accepting of it more these days because a lot of the girls are really cute. They're yeah. really nice. Uh, some of them are really it's, cute. It's They're also, really I nice, feel like a you different, there, you could speak more. Well, I'm gonna just ask you, do yeah, you hey. feel like the era of putting like any rap girl that, ins like, that enters the scene against each other, like do you feel like that still happens a lot? Or you it feel like it's kind of easing up a little bit? Mm -mm. I feel mm. like, um, I feel like it's half and half. I feel like, um, there's always gonna be some man that wants to be like, oh, you look cute, but you know who did that? This girl did that. But you, oh, you know what you should do? Because this girl, did, they don't understand that's, that's where it starts right there. Oh, you can't do that because this girl did that. Right, so and then that's what it starts with the irritated. artist. So now you're like, what, why? Like, and they don't understand, they do that a lot to us. Mm -hmm. So, but as well, it's still like, I feel like if you don't come in sure of yourself, if you don't come in, fully confident in yourself, whatever you do, it's always gonna be people doing that in any aspect. Even if you work in a nine to five, there's gonna be people doing that. Like, you know, I've done her, my homegirls, they workplace, I could not, I could not. That's why I never, couldn't keep a nine to five, I could not. I'll be on the scrapping every day. Like, I can't deal with it. That's why I stay away from it. Mm -hmm. I be at home, I hit my block, I hit, I go with my homegirls, I be with my family. Like, if I gotta go to an event, I'll go to it, I'll do it, but then I gotta come back home because it's not grounded over there. Yeah. Like, and I like to stay humble, I like to stay grounded because like, I didn't been around the industry so many years that I didn't seen so many girls come in and out of it. Even guys too, yeah. I didn't seen them come in and out of it to where they lose their self in it. Mm. And then when their little time is up, they don't understand what happened. Exactly, or who they are in that moment yeah. now. And it was all of that. It was all of that. So I like to, you know, I like to stay grounded and stay away from stuff like that. Now you said, you mentioned your girlfriends, they got nine to fives and the workplace, like the nine to five workplace, I feel like it's so passive aggressive. People be yeah. carrying on your time. Mm -hmm. Tell me, and you mentioned, you was like, that's why I couldn't keep on. Have you tried to get like, like, did you ever like go through a phase where you try to get a nine to five and like, how did that go? Like, what's the, cra what's the craziest nine to five story you got to tell me? Cause that I want to hear. Oh my God. What a game. <laughs> All right, so I was in North Carolina. My, mom, my mother sent me down south when I was younger. So I was born in North Carolina, came to New York when I was three. Okay. So I've been in New York my whole entire yeah. life. So um, my mother sent me down south when I got into trouble and I was working at, oh my God, I'm gonna say it. I was working at Zaxby's. Oh my God, I Zaxby's! Zaxby's. I, I yo, yo, I love Zaxby's. Zaxby's. You like the Zaxby's sauce? Of course I do. Oh my With the God. chicken tenders? Yes, the chicken Did tenders. You know the honey mustard rolled in the, um, the tenders? Mustard. So good, amazing, I, try it. Really? Yes. Okay, I'm going to Atlanta next month, I'm gonna try it. Try it, it's so Ooh. good, oh my God. I can't believe you And Yes, I used to work there, I used to love that What place. you do to those people? What did they do to you? No, I didn't do nothing, no they didn't. All right, so I, will, I was too cool with everybody there and they loved my accent and it was like my, my dad got me the job, mm -hmm. so it was like, it was funny, but I will say the guys that worked in the fast food cooking the food, they used to do some strange things to the food. Mm. Some strange, nasty things. So this one time, um, me, and my, me and this girl, her name was Jennifer too. Ironically, her name was Jennifer too. So we were up in the front and they were white boys, you know? So they used to do crazy things to make us laugh or mm -hmm. whatever, right? This one time, all of a sudden they like, yo, they used to call us Jennifer's because yeah. my first name is Jennifer. So he said, Jennifer's, right? So we would look, they would be like, yo, look at this. We would look, whole beefcake, whole beefcake just out. Mind you, touching his beefcake, and then we'll go touch the batter in the food to make the food. And I would be like, this is disgusting. So yeah, 
That was like my last nine to five. Yeah, you was yeah. giving. I'm not. I'm not gonna be a part of this. I can't be a part of this no more. Oh my God! Well, that, thank God that was years yeah. ago. I yeah. only had Zaxby's yeah. in the past three years. I'm like, and I did have nerve to eat fast food all the time. I'm ashamed of myself. How could you? How could you not be like? I'm dirty. Triggered. I'm dirty. No, no, girl. I take pride in my dirtiness. <laughs> <laughs> the trauma, though, of just trying to go to, like, get something to eat real quick, and you got to think about, oh, my God, no. when I used to work out. It's hope insane. It's insane. Oh. Yeah, I should be ashamed of myself, but I'm not. But I uh, <laughs> never be ashamed, okay? Lived experience. Ashamed? I don't even know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> so flipping the script a little bit, I just had to, I just had to ask because yes. I'm like, I know it's a crazy story in there somewhere. Uh -huh. But what is it like being recognized and shouted out by your faves and icons like Foxy Brown and Nicki Minaj? It'd be amazing. And I thought like um, maybe I'll get over it soon, and I don't. Like yeah. when Nicki likes my post, when she comments, when Foxy comments, I don't know. I still be bugging and wilding, mm -hmm. and I always be reposting it. As like, you should, though. I, yeah, why I, wouldn't I repost that? Yeah. What the hell, Nicki? Don't you be gotta post out here liking bitches' pictures. You gotta post the good <laughs> shit that comes to you, okay? Because the no, world really. is always gonna post all of the bad stuff. I be so excited, like I be so excited. But that's another thing too. So since I have y'all here, the thing that bothers me so much about it is like when I post somebody showing me love. Everybody would be like, oh, she's sucking this person, she's sucking this person, she's sucking this person. But then when it be somebody that like never said Nikki's name ever in their whole career comes out and it's be like, oh, she's showing so much love. Oh, she's doing this. And I, I hate that because okay. then they'll come up under my shit just attacking me for always showing, always keeping the same energy. Mm -hmm. Let me say that. Like, always keep the same energy with everybody. I'm like that with everybody yeah. though. Like all the girls, I'm like that. At the end of the day, people don't understand I'm a girl's girl. And when I say that, I mean that. Like, a lot of females say that and that they actually, they think that they are, but they're not. They're not a woman's woman at all. And that's the shit that I don't like. I'm very supportive. I'm very supportive of my friends. I'm supportive of other women because, like, at the end of the day, I feel like I've been in this industry for too long to where I saw that they wasn't even letting no females in. And it and then when they do, it's like these guys putting us against each other. And I'm I was so tired of that. I was so tired of that. So yeah. that's why I'm like, if you show me love, I'll show you love. I'll come out. I see a, a, a new girl and she's rapping her ass off. I'm up under them comments. Yeah. I don't care because I'm sure in myself. I'm confident in myself. Exactly. Like, you know. Like, you know how many people will scroll through Instagram or yeah. they not like one person. Posts or but no you, comments, no but nothing. You, but you look at their page every single day. You watch their stuff and you never comment. You never do none of that. I don't like that. That's so crazy. If you look beautiful, I would be like, oh, bitch, you bad. Period. Like, if you fire, bitch, you fire. Mm -hmm. Like, that's how I've always been. So, yeah, I just want to say that. Oh, yeah. I love that. Let the people know. Oh, yeah. Let the girls oh, yeah. know. We're here to be <laughs> both. Yes. <Okay. laughs> so, are there any male rappers that you would say? you could kind of compare your style of rap to. Like, who do you see and you're like, I need them on a track? <sighs> um, well... She's a girl's girl. Yeah, that's what I'm okay. like. Okay. <laughs> um, I don't like the men. Um, probably, yeah, Jada Kiss. I was just about to say, oh, yeah, Jada Kiss. Yeah, um, I've, I have two songs of Fab, actually. Okay. And Fab is like, he's like an amazing person. Mm -hmm. Very professional, very like like creative like um and it was amazing to be in the studio with him like because like i grew up listening to him mm -hmm. i grew up watching him um one of my best dressed people ever in my life like when i think of somebody best dressed is fab okay. when i think of like you know hip-hop rappers fab is there you know yeah. so um even if i could work with fab again and actually we construct the song together and just actually sit there like yeah, and go bar for bar. He yeah. was like an amazing person to work with, so I was so, really excited about that. But yeah, them that three. Up in the air. Fab coming back, and we gonna get that. Yes, Fab, on come on, come okay. on, Fab. <laughs> now, since we're girls, girl, yes. if you could go on a rap tour that you completely <laughs> organized, who would be the four female rappers that you would take with you? Okay, so new girls are all together. Any girls? Uh, let me see. That are still rapping. That's still rapping. Mm. Okay. Let me see. All right, so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two sets, right? Okay. So I'm gonna do, and you said four, right? Four. All right, You're so. You're the headliner, period. All right. No, no, no. We're gonna do headlining Foxy and Nikki, right? Oh, down. Coming out, bringing out, bringing out me, 
bring it out. Let's see. Who else? Um, no, that's our tour, right? So, ah! over here. <laughs> it's no shade. I'm buying a ticket. We buying a ticket. Over here. Okay. Um, for um, me, Koi. I love Koi. She's so yeah. much fun. Koi's my bitch. All right. I need you to put this together. Yes. This me, Koi. Um, let's see. Who else would it be? Who is fun and all over the place? Um. I love enchanting so mm -hmm. much. That's my boo. Okay. Um, let me see who else. I'm trying to, y'all. I'm a creator, so I'm trying to structure this way it can make sense in my head. Yeah, uh, like the show got a flow. Like it's yeah. So I'm like, ooh. The girls got flows, and the show also has the flow. Ooh, Lola. I love me some Lola. Okay, Lola. 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 Yeah. So what's the lineup? Now, now give me the lineup with all five of y'all. All five. Yeah, because it was four girls. I mean, you're in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. so what's the order? Who's going first? Uh, who will go first? Um, we could do Enchanting first, then Lola, then me, then Koi. Yeah. Okay, period. I think that would be cute, yeah. And then Nikki and Foxy just going to come through at the end, oh, turn it I out. Got, you see, I'm the little opener, so I'm only I'm only opening for them, right? So oh. I'm going to be the, my, little, my little self. I'm opening the show, and then, yeah. Foxy gonna come out and then Nikki gonna shut yeah. it down. Period. Yeah. Foxy should come out on like one of your songs, yeah. do that, have that moment and on then, stage. Foxy gonna have her her yeah. whole set of all her throwbacks and then and then Nikki comes it. to shut yeah. it out. Period. Yeah. I live for that. Yes. That would be over. And she has to play Itty Bitty twice. I'm just letting you know this now, Nikki. You gotta play Itty Bitty twice. In the beginning, come out to Itty Bitty. Then at the end, play it again. <laughs> play it again. And that time I need you to do it all the way to the end of Alice. Yes, that's the whole thing. Okay. Thing, Don't cut it off. <laughs> like, I need to know who's yes, the new bring personal out shopper. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> just cut it. Oh, you carry it. You <laughs> carry it. Okay, tell me three interesting facts about yourself that nobody knows. Um, nobody knows. Or nobody, you know, on the other side of the screen knows. Your friends may know, but mm. tell, the, tell the people like me that's out here like... Um, well, I'm shy um, a lot of the times. Um, even though it might not look like it, mm -hmm. like with, with everything that's going on, I know I'm doing a lot, but I'm very shy. Um, I could talk like Stitch, like Stitch from Lilo. Wait, do it, do it, do it. I will do it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, um, I'm about to gag you, all right. <laughs> wait, don't look at me. Y'all stop looking at me. Just everybody look straight. <laughs> all right, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, um, uh, Hannah means family. Family means no family one. Means no one. <laughs> Just left behind. Video. Yeah, and then oh, wait, wait, wait. Blue punch buggy. Oh, you know <laughs> I was yes. obsessed, so I used to sit in front of the TV and sh like I was obsessed. It was like yes, I thought I was the only person no. that could talk like this. No, 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 I could do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. god. So that's my second one and third. Um, I'm a homebody. I'm a homebody. Okay. I think everybody gets that though, yeah, right? So, you're one. so that's you're not a one. secret. Mm. Mm -hmm. Um, damn, what's a secret of mine? Hmm. Mm. I'm over here like, I'm like, gonna pull the secret out. Like, I thought you was gonna tell me something. Uh, what? Uh, what do I know about you that you don't even know? Mm. What's your favorite color? Uh, green, Shrek green, I thought, Shrek green. So there we go, my favorite color is Shrek green, yeah. Shrek green, <laughs> Stitch, you love cartoons. Uh, yeah. You love cartoons, damn. Okay, outside of music, do you have any other goals or aspirations? Yes, I want to get into makeup. I want to get into more fashion stuff. I, you know, I already do a lot of the fashion stuff. Yeah, I was about to say, or you walked in like yeah. giving me fresh out the runway. So, um, I've done stuff for, with Burberry. I've done stuff with Machino, mm -hmm. Alice in the Wings. So Cavalli, like, I really want to get into fashion. Like, what's a dream designer or designer house that you would love to work with that you haven't already worked with? Well, I've I've worked with them. Like, yeah. I love Burberry. I've worked with them already. Um, I loved Alice in the Wing. Like, I used to steal. Um, I told him this too. I used to steal stuff out of um H and M. Oh my God! Yeah, when he, what, what did they say? Um, he was dying laughing. He thought it was ah! he thought it was amazing. <laughs> People don't even realize. Like, I watched the Gucci movie about the house of Gucci, and mm -hmm. like they they didn't even care about the knockoffs. They was like, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, like, as long as they wearing the label. No, exactly. Um, I would love to work with um, let me see, Balenciaga. I love their stuff. Oh, I can like, see you doing some sickening promo and campaign. Yeah, put me in a whole little black bodysuit from head yeah. to toe. Do me that. I want yeah. I want to be in that so do bad. My girl. Hello, and do me some shades where I can't see nobody. Okay. <laughs> I feel like that's the Aga way. Aga is very like, I got my shades on. Yes. I got my trench yes. on. Don't bother me. Like, I don't want nobody to know it's me. I just want to walk around. That, would be, like, that would be that's so the fun. Concept. Yes. And see, that's why you be giving. 
I know what I want. Yes. And y'all go, y'all gonna make this shit happen. And then I'm gonna speak it into existence, and God gonna give it to me. Yes, yes. That just, I saw the whole campaign in my yes. head. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. What was the last song that you listened to that wasn't your own? Oh, I've been having Future's album on like loop. Well, two songs. The, um, um, the one with Tim's. What is it called? I suck. I remember song title. I don't know, I don't know. Well, the one with Tim's Future. And Drake, I love that right now. And then I think it's called Better, Better, Do Something Better, something like that. Yeah, those two I've been having on replay. I've been listening to song. <laughs> it's Pride Girls. I've been listening to another one. Whitney Houston, Shaka oh, Khan. Oh, it's oh, giving high yes. every woman. That's all I'm hearing is I'm coming out and you better work and all of no, that. Definitely. So, That's yeah. Yeah, it does. It, it's like I can take on the motherfucking no, world. Exactly, exactly. You gotta throw some Khalees milkshake in there. Oh, yeah, you got. That's to. gonna be my next. Imagine, so when I perform, Shaka, fucking um, Whitney, and then my milkshake brings a lot better than y'all. Me and right, it's better than y'all. <laughs> yes, me and right. Okay, so we have made it to the last question of this interview. Okay, we went yeah. through all of those. Oh, that was just for show, right? All of those questions we like that. We, we, we did that? <gasps> Every last one. And some of them you answered on your own, and I didn't even, I just said, well, I'm just going oh, to answer that. I, you see, I hate that about me. I have a big ass mouth. I have a big mouth too. Keep going. But that's fine. Yeah, we got to fill bad. this out with something. Bad. It was just All right. Going. So, what can we expect to look forward from throughout the rest of your music career? And how long do you see yourself being in music? Are you like, I'm going to create? And so, I mean, you're going to create. You can't help but to. But, do you see yourself like putting music out and like going on tour like for the rest of your life? Or are you like, you know, I want to do this for this long and then I want to segue into this? Uh, yeah, I want to do it for like a little bit, maybe give like five albums and then okay. stop. And then I want to do, um, get into more of like doing fashion, doing my own clothing, like, um, Doing makeup okay. and... So you're going to pull a Rihanna on us and you're going to get yeah. us all in that fifth studio album and you're going to hit it again. Yeah, I'm going to make the money. I'm, I'm going to buy me a little island and then just yes. go over there and live over there and, and just... Business. And then just, I'm done. And then I might have a little family or whatever. I can't see that now for myself. I can't yeah. see me being pregnant. Oh, my gosh. Really? Oh, my God. I can, Gag, I, I can see you being pregnant and uh, carrying... Yeah. Girl, I can see you turning and being pregnant. I feel, I feel like, like I would cry about it every single day. Like, oh my God, look at me. <laughs> but I feel like you would be like, yeah, I can't tell you how you would be, but I feel like you would be out there paying it, like kind of like how Rihanna was, yeah, where it's I, like, I'm still I, getting dressed, I'm still doing my thing. About me, and I'm like, no, I'm going to be in sweatpants with food on my belly, just mad food sitting on my belly, just popping things in my, just eating. I'm I just picked it up, up to be me, yeah. Oh my God, I'm here yeah. for it though. Take that time over that. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, yeah, so that's that's what I want to do, and then I just want to, because later on I do want to have a family, like later, 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 later. So yeah, I'm a Could you see that with the guy that, you know, we're falling for now? Oh my God. I forget. I picture him watching my interviews. Ah! Um, I don't know. We love, we love supporting him. You know what's so crazy? I'm a Pisces, so once once I meet somebody that I like, because it's very rare that I like somebody, so mm -hmm. once I do, I be like, all right, so this is a wedding day, and I already told her, I'm like, yo, look, this is what I want. I will tell a guy that I do not play that. You're not gonna, you're not gonna think you're dogging me out. If I get the inch that you're dogging me out, I'm out. Like, I don't play that, so no. I'm a wifey for lifey, so they all gotta know that. <laughs> I live for that. So tell, tell everybody out there just something bold as fuck that you just want the world to know as you move into the next era of Malibu motherfucking Mitch. Um, well, this time I am not stopping. Like before it was a bunch of obstacles in my way that made me have to take little breaks or whatever because I'm not gonna stop for nothing, for nobody. But um, yeah, but I'm coming hard. I'm not gonna stop right now. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Come here. Work out. Well, thank you so much for being here. <laughs> thank you for, for being me. yourself, for yeah. being bold because that's what our show and platform is all about. Out, no, exactly. is getting here and talking your shit. And, and then I want to say something about you guys too. Like the fact that you guys report on everything. I love that. There's a lot of blogs that don't do that. Mm -hmm. And you guys report everything and a lot of things that is going on in the world too. Like, you know, and I love that about you. You got to have a balance too. of the good and the bad and just yeah. the real. Like sometimes yeah. posting something real is good for one person, bad for another person, but not being afraid to just go exactly. there. And another thing is I feel like um, these days artists bully um, media places. And I feel like it's not in our place to do that. I feel like um, 
it's messed up because you're stopping somebody else's job, you know? Mm -hmm. So I really hate that. Because I remember back in the 90s, that's why we had Wendy Williams and she was running down and didn't care. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to fight her, meet her outside, but you wasn't yeah. going to fight her, though. She had Kenneth, Be right? So, <laughs> But, like, you know, I feel like a lot of that, like, you just got to get over that. Because remember um, Paris Hilton? Her vagina was out all the time back yeah, in the day. Like, the, like tab girl. the tabloids yeah, was the tabloids. Do, like, and I'm still going to wear my coochie cut attractive. And at the end of the day, the media is for us. That's how we get our stuff out. So I appreciate you guys for that. You know, it's always a home for you here. Anytime you need to yes. say something, give I a shout you. out, a yes, statement. Yes. We are always here. <laughs> <laughs> and thank you for being here. Oh my no, God. No, boy, you're so cute. Oh, no, you're cute. Good no, you're gonna bang your eyes. I'm like, oh my God, you're so cute. <laughs> I, I, I'm the one that's over here fangirl. Like, right before you came, I'm like, all right, girl, so I'm just gonna get it out right now. I'm over there dancing. Like, okay, I'm gonna get it out. Oh my God, that's her voice. Oh my goodness. So, thank you again for being here. Of course. Yeah. I love you. Oh my God. Thank you. Yes. Make sure y'all stay tuned to that so bold. Yes. This ain't the first time nor the last time. Never will be the last time. Okay, later, y'all. Yeah. <laughs>